to Halifax. If you join them before the 2nd of December, we'll give you £100 the same day. It's easier than you think with our top-rated switching service. Halifax, the people who give you extra. Apply and branch before the 2nd of December. Subject to status on ultimate reward, reward and current account. Conditions apply. Every two minutes is averaged internal data between the 1st of January and 31st of July 2012. De facto four-star rated switching service. Jazz Travels with Robbie Vincent. Jazz FM. Listening Colour.
Robbie Vincent, Jazz Travels, that means soul and blues, and it means plenty of jazz too. That was High Five from Chuck Loeb, and that was part, if you remember last Sunday, of us looking at tracks and good Sunday morning tracks that have a family connection. We've got some more of those coming up later. Here on Jazz Travels, I'm looking after and keeping the beach nice and clean until the return of Sarah Ward, which will be early next year. You couldn't get a better collection of musical influences and interests than my guest on Jazz Travels, Courtney Pine, has a new album. It's called The House of Legends. And coincidentally and very helpfully, it actually takes us through important historical black characters around the Caribbean. And the Caribbean now is the posh caribbean and the rustic caribbean is that fair i'd say it's fair yeah the caribbean has always been uh, a place of deep depth it's always been a a, a cook-up or a, a mixture of elements people environment food um a mixture of lots of elements you know different types of music as well and i've been fortunate enough to have seen many aspects of it not enough um but i just love it the selection, we want to talk about some of them, but some of the people we meet in your album, yeah. as well as the music, have they all been people that you've come across, or have they been people that you, by come across, I mean, have you read about them, or someone said, oh, uh, Courtney, have you heard about so-and-so? How did you collect these people? Well, born, being born and bred in um, the United Kingdom, some of these stories don't really come to you that easily. Some of them are, are told to you by word of mouth. Um, I was born in, in, or I was brought up in the Ladbroke Grove area. I was actually born in South London and brought back to Ladbroke Grove area where the Nottingham Carnival earth, is. Who on earth brought you from the south side of the Thames <laughs> to the north? I didn't know this. <laughs> well, I would have started a campaign to have you sent back. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know this till the other day, actually. I was born in St. Giles Hospital down Lucian side. Campbellwell. Yeah, down that side. And um, my parents brought moved, well, they were actually living in, um, we call it Paddington, you know, Ashmer Road, Harrow Road, yeah. whether or not Hill Carnival, Carnival is. Yeah. And um, in that area, as you know, there is the Notting Hill Carnival. So I came back in 1964, and um, over a couple of years, my dad used to take me to the carnival, and I used to be sitting on the shoulders watching these people enjoying themselves, watching the processions and the steel pans and stuff. And it kind of stuck in my mind, you know, this, this collection of people, which has grown since that time. I had no, who, I had no idea who's, who, whose idea it was, you know, to set up this carnival. And I found out, not from my parents, but just through research, that it was... Claudia Jones. My guest, if you just joined us, is Courtney Pine. His new album has stories of some really interesting characters, black historical figures, but he also talks about food. And this is a man who likes food. <laughs> I love Cook Up. I love the story from St. Kitts and Nevis. Tell us about St. Kitts and Nevis first. It's the place where Princess Di used to go to recuperate. It's one of the best kept secrets in the Caribbean. Um, this is a bit heretical for me to say, as my parents are from Jamaica, and you'd find everybody from their particular corner of the Caribbean will say, well, we've got the best kept secret. But St. Kitts is a place, is an area which is so quiet, so humble, so proud. It's a place I love to visit year after year after year. The track is called La Amiga Cook-Up. And I only found out it, about it this year because um, I don't know why, but I had this idea of interfacing with the local DJs and asking them to ask the public in St. Kitts to name the track. Simple competition. What do you think this track sounds like? So we had, you know, we had a great um, response to the competition, but the best title was the one I didn't know, La Amiga, which is the, the native Indian word for the island, which is fertile, you know, it's one that you have to go there to see the place. It's just beautiful. Uh, we say paradise, but it, it really is paradise. And um, the, the, the winner said, cook up. And I said, well, what do you mean cook up? It means a mixture of several elements. It's, it's like, you know, the, the, the New Orleans, they have this thing called gumbo, where they all throw everything in. But at the end of the day, it tastes, it tastes beautiful. And um, that's what this track is about. <laughs> 
and also a, a description in a way of the island oh very much so a, a, a description of the island here it is <laughs>
Robbie Vincent, Jazz Travels. My guest is Courtney Pine. Courtney and his love of St. Kitts and Nevis, and you should have seen his face light up as he talked about it. And you should have seen his face get even brighter when it included food and cook-up uh, <laughs> cut from his House of Legends. We'll be back with more from Courtney Pine in just a moment. Hi, I'm Olivia from Jazz FM's charity, Place to Be, and we'd love you to join us at St. Peter's Church on Eaton Square in London for a charity Christmas carol concert. With all the classic carols to sing along with and readings from the likes of models Sophie Dahl and actors Dame Eileen Atkins, Patricia Hodge, and Ed Stoppard, you can really get into the Christmas spirit at this event. Tickets are just £25. And to find out more about how Jazz FM and Place to Be are working together and how you can get to the carol concert to sing your heart out, go online to jazzfm.com. Seen it? Never heard of it. Rubbish! Old... Want to watch more of the latest and biggest movies 12 months before Netflix or Love Film Instant? Of course you do. Well, now you can. With Now TV, the brilliant new internet TV service powered by Sky. No contract, just $8.99 a month for the first three months. Get your free trial at nowtv.com slash free trial. Fees apply after free trial unless cancelled. £15 a month after three months. See website for comparison details, device compatibility and further terms. We make luxury leather handbags. We copy luxury leather handbags. Each handbag sells for £1,600. Each handbag sells for £30. We distribute to exclusive boutiques around the world. We distribute to street corners around the world. Our turnover is £13 million a year. Our turnover is £1.3 billion a year. At Mishkondorea, we know the damage counterfeited goods can cause your business. That's why we've developed Tulip, a brand protection product that's helped our clients recover their losses. Mishkondorea. It's business, but it's personal. Let's bring out our final Christmas star for a night. What's your name? Maggie. Well, it's been a great night, Maggie. So, what are you going to do for us tonight? Tonight, I'm going to buy school books for children in Sierra Leone. <laughs> right. Be a real star this Christmas and give a gift that makes a difference because there's an audience somewhere that really needs it. Text GIFTS to 85010 for your free catalogue. If you have a household problem, no matter if it's big or small, you should hire the British Gas Team. Whether you've a burst pipe, a broken kitchen appliance, faulty electrics, a block drain or a boiler on the blink, there's one team you should call. For ongoing care or a one-off repair, visit britishgas.co.uk. British Gas. Looking after your world. Jazz FM. Here comes winter, with its frozen locks and flat batteries, when it's hard just to escape your driveway. But this year, don't get caught out. Join the RAC and we'll give you free at-home cover, so we'll come to your house if your car won't start. And as a club member, we'll check your oil, and if you buy a new battery from us, we'll fit it for free. Visit rac.co.uk or call 08000 96 66 56. Minimum roadside and recovery personal membership. Terms and conditions apply. Jazz FM. With the latest traffic and travel news, when you need it, seven days a week. I'm Ross Powell. Taking a look at the M25, it's closed clockwise at the QE2 bridge because of the high winds, so you'll need to divert through the Dartford Tunnel instead. M48, so westbound, that's the uh, 7 bridge, is closed off in Gloucestershire because of the high winds we're experiencing this morning. M50 is closed westbound in Worcestershire because of some flooding between uh, Junction with the M5 and Junction 2 for Lebury. And also eastbound, the road is closed off between Lebury and Tewkesbury because of flooding. Also further down uh, the M50 between Junctions 2 and 4, the road closed off both ways for roadworks. In Greater Manchester, the M50 6 is still closed both ways between Junction 2 at Shaston and Junction 5 for Manchester Airport. It's all for some major bridge installation work going on, so you'll need to divert via the Altrincham Road and the Brownlee Road. And in London, the Circle Line is suspended today for engineering works which is taking place. If you see a problem, call us 0500 59 27 27. Jazz FM. Listening colour.
Robbie Vincent, Jazz Travels. Our guest is Courtney Pine. That's a track from Europa, his previous album. It's called Druid's Liar. And that was an album that was a collection of sounds and flavours from around Europe. Courtney likes Budapest and the Red Square and Turkey and stuff like that. But he's taking us round the Caribbean with his new album. House of Legends. Now, Courtney not only has an OBE, he has a CBE as well. His wife has an OBE. Have you got any room on your <laughs> shelves for all these awards? Oh, gosh. Um, and you've won best this and best that. Yeah, and I've tried. I've tried. I, I, I've never thought that playing jazz would get you awards, especially from the education that I've had about um, musicians like myself. I'm talking about Joe Harriet, Bertie King. Musicians have come from the Caribbean, Africa, like George Lee, were not really awarded. Those kind of things don't really happen. I, I wasn't expecting anything, you know. When you went to Buckingham Palace, yes. what other sort of people did you see around you and what was your reaction to mm. them? The first time I went for the OBE, I, I was really surprised. I just started growing my locks and I had a hairnet on. <laughs> Uh, it was so bizarre. I went to see the Queen of England in a, with her hair net on because my, my hair had just started to twist, you know. And um, standing in front of me and behind me were, were generals and emperors and empresses of, of industry, captains of industry. What I mean, do you think they thought of the black dreadlocked man with a hair net? <laughs> it was interesting because nobody spoke to me. You know, it was one of those... Uh, 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 <laughs> I, I, I don't think a lot of people, because don't, we don't teach about this kind of thing that happens to mm. us in this country. I'm talking about black people. But when you enter a room and you're the minority, you're the only one there, nobody actually talks to you. And you stand there and everybody talks to each other. And then you stand there and you've got the glass in your hand and, you know, you smile and you nod and you do eye contact. But you're ignored, basically. So that's what happened to me the first time. And then... Okay, to, to stop you there, to, to, you you tell that story now with a big smile and you're very relaxed about it. Mm. Were you not a bit hurt at the time? And did you did you feel a proper minority then? Well, yeah, of course you feel I would have told you if I'd been there. Well, y y Robbie, you're, it's different. You know, when, when yeah, you have right, a, okay. a musical connection, it's kind of different. But when you're working with people who are not in your field, for example... It's it's we we could write albums. Actually, I do write albums about this stuff. <laughs> but we could write books and tomes yes. about how it is. Well, it's, this is how it is growing up and being in the United Kingdom. Um, I'm a jazz musician, but in I turn up at places and people, you know, want to give me the mop and the broom. <laughs> <laughs> that they, they, they expect this for me, you know. Um, still? Oh, it's still to this day, you know. I, I still get, I still, um, I, I try to explain to journalists that I'm a regular guy. The things that happened to me before I had a, a solo career, it's still happening to me now. Um, okay, well, let's move on. That was the OBE. Yeah. So had things improved by CBE, Tom? Well, the CBE was interesting because it's a different room. I was in a room where there was proper proper warriors, you know, proper generals, proper soldiers, you know, proper military guys who really had risked life and limb and other people's life and limbs um, to defend countries. And they were practicing how to kneel and get the sword on the shoulder and all that. And I was standing there watching this. I was, I was amazed. I, I saw an improvising musician playing saxophone from Paddington could be in the same room as, as these guys. Moving on to Samuel Sharp, who is another historical black figure whose story I found really interesting. And it's a bit hard to say this uh, in a way because this was a man who was so good. He, he thought black emancipation had arrived in 1831 and was part of the Christmas Rebellion. But what he didn't know is it hadn't arrived. They didn't have internet in those days. They didn't have mobile phones and text in those days. So when you got the news, it was hearsay. And um, Samuel, being a preacher, a religious man, um, an educated slave, um, was looking for the rights of other black people on the plantations. And he instigated a, you know, you don't have to do this. You know, emancipation is coming, so now we can actually stand as a team and get better rights 
Um, obviously, that led to one thing to another, and guys decided, okay, we're going to take matters into our hands and we're going to rebel. And as Samuel was the leader of this thing, or the instigator, he um, paid the price. And on his way to the gallows, there's a statement that he said, which was, he'd rather die than live in slavery, you know, which I, I felt was such a strong statement to say because it was almost as if he, could, he was foretelling the future. He knew that this moment in time was not just for now, but this is for generations to come. Here I am, an educated, um, evolved African, and I'm taking this stance here. And many have taken stances. Nelson Mandela, Muhammad Ali, many, many have taken stances. And I don't think guys will stop now. Let's hear the track Samuel Sharp from House of Legends then.
Samuel Sharp, that's a track from the album House of Legends, and my guest is Courtney Pine. I just want to go back, by the way, from a travel point of view. If you were the guy who had to persuade us to go on holiday in Jamaica, where would you insist that we went? What little bits of Jamaica? I've only got three or four days, so what would be the top things to have a look at? Well, being British, you'd have to go to the Blue Mountain. The climate is exactly the same. It's very cold <laughs> up on the Blue Mountain. You can get some great coffee up there. It's very secluded. It's very exclusive. Um, you won't get hustle. People won't be asking you for American dollars or English pounds or anything. It's a wonderful spot. Um, the Blue Mountains. The Blue Mountains up in um, St. Andrew. It's, it's, um, as it's, it's east of, of Kingston. That is not a tourist resort. But Chris Blackwell, um, Island Records um, record company owner, he has a place very, very close to there called, um, I think it's up in a place called Strawberry Hills. But he has a wonderful hotel with the Western trimmings. But if you're not looking for that, I did a documentary um, for the South Bank show and we went up there and the crew were on the street eating jerk chicken and they were having a, a great time that's the first place i would recommend then i would say um make your way over to ocherias you can see nature and humanity colliding in a very beautiful positive way um and the third place i'd recommend maybe mobe that's a very nice spot as well for the tourist kind of thing what's the tourist point of view and why is it a nice place um sun See, um, and all the trimmings of of the of the Caribbean you can get there. You know, um, once again you can get some great food there. Um, you can get some great dr great drinks there, and the people also are, are very very warm. Robbie Vincent with Jazz Travels, my guest Courtney Pine, whose parents, by the way, are from Jamaica. After the break, we'll be hearing from Cameron Pierre. That's uh, Courtney's guitarist. He comes from the Caribbean too, but he comes from the island of Dominica. Jazz FM and M&S Wines have got together to make sure that you pick the right kind of wine this festive season. From old classics to exciting new ones for any occasion and food pairing. Throughout November, you can go online and see me talking with M&S wine expert Chris Murphy about this week's topic, the M&S Wine Club. It's a convenient way to get a case of wine delivered to your door every three months. Plus, there's a chance for you to win a year's subscription to the Contemporary Wine Club. It's all with M&S Wines. M&S is a supermarket with a wine merchant soul. And listen to my drive time show next week for a new theme and a new prize here on Jazz FM from 2pm. You missed that show again last night, didn't you? You never managed to leave work on time. You could always watch it later on your laptop with its massive 15-inch screen. Shame you haven't got Talk Talk's new TV package. Then you could watch it later on your TV where it's supposed to be seen. You've heard about it, read about it, and seen it everywhere. PPI. The mis-selling saga paying back billions of pounds in compensation to people just like you. Direct Redress is the expert in PPI claims, fighting to set right what the banks did wrong. Their average client win is over £3,600. If you've had PPI on a credit card loan or mortgage, you could be entitled to a refund of thousands of pounds. If you're not sure about it, don't be embarrassed to ask. Direct Redress will help make it perfectly clear. To find out more, text the word WIN to 88802. That's WIN to 88802. Love Out Loud is the stunning new album from Anthony David. Anthony David, Love Out Loud. Out now at Amazon.co.uk. So, this new TV package from Talk Talk. There's seven day catch up, thousands of shows and box sets, and you even get a free UView TV box, usually £299. There's more too at talktalk.co.uk. Contract conditions and £50 installation fee apply. 
Compatible aerial and line speed required. Jazz FM. Listen. The flat battery. Winter's very own dawn chorus. But this year, don't get caught out. Join the RAC and we'll give you free at-home cover. So we'll come to your house if your car won't start. And as a club member, we'll check your oil. And if you buy a new battery from us, we'll fit it for free. Visit rac.co.uk or call 08000 51 77 79. Minimum roadside and recovery personal membership. Terms and conditions apply. Jazz FM. With the latest traffic and travel news when you need it, seven days a week. I'm Ross Powell, taking a look first at what's happening on the M25. It's closed clockwise because of the high winds at the QE2 bridge, so you'll need to divert via the Dartford Tunnel instead. The East Bore has been opened up to accept clockwise traffic. M50 eastbound is still closed off because of flooding between that Junction 2 at Ledbury and Junction 1 for Tewkesbury, but westbound the road is now open around Ledbury. M56 in Greater Manchester closed off both ways between that Shaston and Manchester Airport. That's Junctions 2 to 5 because of major bridge installation work. And the M62 now has two lanes closed westbound between Junction 19 at Hayward and Junction 18 uh, for the M60 that's because of flooding there. The Circle Line in London suspended because of engineering works which are taking place today and the District Line is also suspended between Earls Court and Edgware Road. If you spot a problem call the Jam Line it's 0500 59 27 27 Jazz FM Listening Colour Il est il 1977. La gouvernement Dominique passe en loi pour affecter nos malheurs. Souvent les coco, c'est on en est la rôle. Sous quand ça vit chez on a ce chez avec coupé chez Avec sous tout chez femme, c'est 96 dollars. Oui. 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 Elle est compagnie qui a fait un papier de travail. Tout petit malheur est qu'à faire si ton. Pour les gars, il y a un chat qui a fait la couma. Berman, il y a un chat qui a fait l'école. Avec Bonito là, t'es souvent. Oui. Oui. Tenu temps pour le mini force, la tenue la messe, chimé la croix. Toutes les enfants qui ont joué, à jouer, à jouer, à jouer ma balle, avec orchestre Black Woods qui a frappé, cradant slip sous. Tim Tim Washes Vocas of your default money PT Blood of Wood Can Blow this pan, la pluie. Blow it, la glace. Ça qui m'ouvre en brise de sang. Avion. Spiking. Des points verts dans le truck pour chez Nestlé. One ton. Les voix qui arrivent, on commence à chimer là les coco. A police a witi Watila. It is spiking, come on outside. Spiking, sorti. It is spiking, to cassé loala. Spiking, the gas on fou. Bon, on va le compte. Pan monte. Police la gade. Police la di. Aki non, debaki. Spiking, this. 
Kaikinsa, kini kuno kay kisapi ba mo? Kini saudiam mamatan biay kabili. Polis na din spell your name. Spell it. Kaikinsi, I T it. Robbie Vincent Jazz Travels. That was traditional eight from Cameron Pierre from his album Radio Jumbo. Uh, Cameron Courtney Pines, guitarist, comes from the island of uh, Dominica. And he says that he got interested in music, or he started music, was when he persuaded a friend to lend him a guitar. Music, however, has always been a part of the life in the Pierre household. Uh, Pierre's dad played a steel pan in the local steel band, and his mum listened to the sounds of ska and reggae. So let's hear what Cameron has to say about his home island of Dominica. What can I say about Dominica? Population 70,000 people. Um, the island itself is quite big in, in comparison to... It's bigger than St. Lucia, Barbados and the others. But population-wise, because Dominica is such a, a mountainous and, and rocky kind of place, you know, it's very hard to, to, to build inland. So everyone tends to live on, on the outskirts. Apparently the story goes that if Christopher Columbus, who discovered the Caribbean, if he came back today, Dominica would be the only island he would recognize. But that's, you know, just to give you a picture of what Dominica yeah. is like. I mean, I compare it now to what my kids or what youngsters in England, you know, do. It's, it's just no comparison. I mean, down there it's an outdoor life. Even when I go home now, you know, people don't stay indoors, you know. You wake up in the morning and then you're, you're out of the house. Because it's just, there's just so much to do. So it's really, really hard to sit indoors and watch television. People tend to hang out a lot outside of the house because it's, it's, because Dominica is so small and the villages are so small. You know, everyone knows everyone. You know, and, and it's a scene of, I, if I give you, an, I give you a scenario, when I, when I go home, I call it home. Every time I go back to Dominica and I, I meet up with my cousins, I mean, I, I really pay close attention to their routines. I get up in the morning, have a shower, breakfast, they go to work. They come back home, have a shower, and they're out of the house. They're really out of the house. Or they might have dinner and then they're out. Either on the roadside talking or playing dominoes or doing something, but they are not in the house.
go a real slice of Caribbean music. That was Radio Jumbo, which is the title track of the latest album from Cameron Pier, and we'll be rejoined next week by Courtney Pine as we travel around the Caribbean. Uh, Robbie Vincent, um, oh, I've just realised I'm next as well. On the Aberdeen Discovery Show this afternoon, the spotlight falls on the playing of the soulful saxophonist Cannonball Adderley. And we celebrate the boys with big band recordings featuring the voices of Mark Murphy, Paul Anker, Joe Williams, George Benson and Mel Torme. There's also Latin.